G'day everyone and uh, welcome back to the workshop. So today I've got a little job come in um, from a gentleman called Wayne and Wayne's into vintage engines and tractors. Now he's produced some of these big bolts for me and he said look can you make me four of them. Now Wayne sourced the material himself, I'm not sure what the grade is. Um, but what I'm going to do today is actually start on the nuts, okay? Um, this nut's a bit ragged and worse for weather, so I'll be making four of them out of this hex bar. So that will involve some basic turning operations, so facing, parallel turning, center drilling, drilling and boring. Now the bolt itself is a British standard Whitworth. If I go to my little Kenwell's metal book here and open that up, you'll see here British standard Whitworth and I've measured the bolt at 7 eighths of an inch okay it's 9 TPI so 9 threads per inch and it'll tell me here what the drill size is 19.25 mil now I don't have a 19.25 drill bit I do have an 18 and a half so I'll drill it at 18.5 and then I'll bore it out to size to 19.25 and then of course I'll have to adjust the compound slide and put this chamfer on now I believe a nut chamfer is roughly between 30 degrees um, so I'll just put a share front of 30 degrees and and see how we go. So I apologise for the background noise. I've got the rotary phase running. Let's go over to the old Colchester and let's uh, pump some of these nuts out.
Okay, so we've finished machining the nuts for today. Um, this will be a two-part video. This is part one. And just a simple job. It's not very hard to do. Um, anyone with basic lathe knowledge can do this sort of work. It's nothing fancy. Um, unfortunately, Wayne dropped off uh, heaps of Coventry die heads with, with chasers. And you wouldn't believe it. He had every thread in there, every chaser known to mankind, except one for 7, 8, 9 P TPI. However, Wayne did have um, a little bag of taps here that he bought online, and lo and behold, there was a, a, an old tap in here. This is uh, branded PN. This is probably 40 to 40 year old. PN was taken over by Sutton Tools, and uh, it's like brand new. It cut like a hot knife going through butter. You can see the nuts here. I'm happy with that. And uh, the old tap, she did well. It's a beautiful thread on there. Alright, so when I make the bolts, sorry, my previous comment, I was going to use the Coventry die head to, to make these threads. Um, however, I'm going to single point thread cut these bolts in my old Colchester. I checked the gears and the gear train and um, it will do uh, 9 TPI and what I did I put this bolt in and I just put an indicator finger and made sure that I could um, chase up those thread at 9 TPI and it worked so I'm going to give that a crack actually. The other thing about if I didn't have the tap I would have had to uh, screw cut them however I don't have a small enough uh, threading bar to go internally so luckily Wayne had that tap. The other thing I was lucky I had is this big ass PNN uh, number seven that Maddie from Maddie's workshop donated to the channel. And thanks for that, Maddie, because without that, mate, I would have been screwed today. I had nothing capable of holding this big ass tap. Good on you guys. That was part one. I'll see you back next video when I get around to it, making the bolts um, and cutting the threads. All right. Good on you. Thanks for following along and uh, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.